Indonesia's vibrant art scene has found a new home. Indonesian contemporary and modern art combined with international works makes up the private collection acquired over the past 25 years by one of the country's businessmen and is now being shown at the Machan Museum. The result is an unusual display of thought-provoking pieces in a country where censorship has been on the rise. Like these self-portraits of artists who became victims of an anti-communist purge in the 1960s, killing more than one million people. Still a very sensitive issue today. As a museum, we don't have any political opinion, but we have to be honest about our history and show the real history of art in Indonesia. And what happened in 1965 is part of our history. Also, Aramayani's Linga Yoni is back, a controversial painting from the 1990s using Hindu male and female symbols of fertility against the background of Arabic script. It symbolizes the merging of cultures and beliefs in Indonesia. When it was first shown, conservative groups considered it an insult of Islam and sent death threats to the artist. She was forced to flee the country. I really hope people can now openly discuss the issue of pluralism. This is the right moment. Tensions between the majority and minorities are only increasing because these issues are being politicized to divide and rule. We have to reject this. Indonesian modern art is increasingly sold at auctions around the world, but has yet to receive the same appreciation at home. Work by Inyoman Masriadi, one of Indonesia's best-selling modern artists, has been sold for one million dollars abroad. The Machan Museum not only aims to create awareness for modern art among Indonesians, but also wants to bring Indonesian art to the world. Artists say it has created a rare podium for local and international artists in a time of increasing intolerance and self-censorship, something the government so far has failed to provide. To make sure visitors from all walks of life can enjoy the art, the museum decided to sell tickets as cheap as cinema tickets, knowing that many Indonesians spent money to watch movies. The strategy is working. Not all visitors are interested in the art on its own merit. The Infinity Room by Japanese artist Yayoi Kusama has been a big hit on Instagram. These visitors are queuing just to take a selfie. But the museum hopes they will make an effort to see the other works as well. Stapfasen, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.